Hello and welcome to another TLDR UK video. As we've learned by now, a lot of topics related to COVID are contentious, with vast swathes of people who seem to believe that Bill Gates created the virus in order to microchip us all, as well as others who believe that all vaccines that could cure the disease are inherently unsafe. But something like the origin of the virus has to be pretty cut and dry, right? Not much disagreement to happen there. The question is, have you seen anything at this point that gives you a high degree of confidence that the Wuhan Institute of Virology was the origin of this virus? Yes, I have. Well, it turns out that not everyone can agree on the origins of COVID-19 either. And given that there are competing views, we thought that it would be appropriate to take a look at them all. It should be pointed out up front that we essentially don't know the exact details at this point, but the prevailing views do all point in one direction. This video will also cover some of the origins of other historical coronaviruses, such as Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, or SARS, and the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, or MERS, in order to see whether we can learn anything about how they started. Before we get going, I wanted to remind you that we actually have two other major channels, TLDR US and TLDR EU. A number of people have asked us to cover topics which we've actually already discussed on those channels, such as George Floyd's murder and the Black Lives Matter movement, which we've talked about on TLDR US, or how countries have and haven't handled COVID successfully, something we've touched on over on TLDR EU. Both channels are linked down below, so be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified every time we make updates. Well, let's start this video with how most people think that COVID-19 originated. It's generally believed that the current coronavirus, COVID-19, started in bats and then was transmitted to humans, where it spread rapidly until we reached the situation we're in today. There is a chance, although very unlikely, that it spread directly from bats to humans. More likely is that there is a middle or intermediate animal between the bats and the people, allowing for an easier spread. That's why the original theory seemed plausible, that the infection of humans first occurred at the Huanan Seafood Wholesale Market in Wuhan, and why it's continued to be a prominent theory. Before it was shut down, live animals were sold at the market, and as markets are regularly frequented in China by people shopping for all sorts of things, it makes sense that the virus could have spread via an intermediate animal in a location such as this. Some suspect species that have been hypothesised are pangolins, snakes and turtles. The favourite, so to speak, is the pangolin, the most illegally traded animal in the world. However, there's no concrete proof that this was the source of the virus, and there's still a lot of uncertainty. One of the primary sources of doubt comes from the fact that there were some early cases of COVID-19 in Wuhan were tracked and found to have no clear connection to the market. It's also bolstered by the fact that some evidence has been found that cases of the virus were in existence much earlier than previously was thought, maybe even extending to November 2019. As already mentioned, this isn't the only coronavirus in history, and we have much more research on the origins of previous ones, such as SARS and MERS. The SARS epidemic of 2002-2003 had an impact on 26 countries, and led to about 8,000 cases, so clearly on a much smaller scale than COVID-19. Although there's no certainty over the original animal that this disease came from, it's thought that it was spread through civets to humans. The World Health Organization found traces of the virus in a restaurant where civets were served as a delicacy. This fact has influenced some of the thinking that there was an intermediate animal involved in the spread of COVID-19 too. Despite uncertainty, there is a general view that bats had the first SARS virus, before passing it on to civets and then on to humans. However, compelling evidence for this was only found in 2017, 15 years after the original outbreak, when Chinese scientists located strains of SARS in remote horseshoe bat caves in Yunnan province. The fact that this was only discovered some 15 years later just goes to show how tricky it can be to track the epidemiology of these diseases. Despite this, for a long time there were conspiracy theories that the virus had originated in a disease control lab in Beijing, and this is an idea that will be returned to in relation to COVID-19 later on. The first case of MERS was identified in Saudi Arabia in 2012. 
It spread to 27 countries, although the vast majority of the cases remained in Saudi Arabia. Overall, it's thought that MERS was the cause of death for about 858 people. This relatively low spread is thanks to the fact that the virus wasn't anywhere near as contagious as COVID-19 or even SARS. MERS is also known as camel flu, as it's thought that dromedary camels were the major transmitter of the virus to humans. There's also once again some thinking that it first came to be in bats and passed to camels at some point in time, although there is still ongoing research in this area. Now, back to COVID-19, and as you can see, it's an entirely sensible theory that, considering the history, the current coronavirus originated in bats via an intermediary animal. But that's not spread conspiracy theorists from floating the possibility that the virus was originated in the Wuhan Institute of Virology, a place that studies and works with viruses. There's two main avenues for this theory. One being that it was deliberately engineered and released as a form of bio-warfare, and the other being that it was accidentally leaked. First, let's deal with the more outlandish of the two. The first high-ranking politician to posit that China created the virus as a bio-weapon was Republican Senator Tom Cotton on February 16th. He made his assertion while at the same time admitting that he had no evidence to support his claim. Towards the end of April and into May, President Trump and senior officials, such as Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, began to make statements implicating the Institute of Virology. While trying to skirt around the subject, both seemed to make statements that suggested that China had created the virus on purpose. Conspiracy theories surrounding this issue have been rife, but scientists have come out on several occasions to state that there's no evidence to suggest it's true, and that all current evidence points to the hypothesis that it began with nature. The US government's own top medical advisor, Anthony Fauci, has also refuted the idea that it could have been artificially or deliberately manipulated, only fueling the controversy between him and Trump yet further. In some form of retaliation, Beijing has allowed counter-theories to develop, arguing that the CIA deliberately imported the virus to Wuhan in 2019. The other major theory is that the virus was accidentally leaked from the lab during experimentation. Compared to the deliberately engineered theory, this one is slightly more plausible, yet there's still no evidence for this in any way. It's also been directly shot down by the scientific community, the director of the Wuhan Institute of Virology, Wang Yanyi, has been publicly outraged by these assertions, and while admitting that the lab was investigating various bat coronaviruses, none of them were plausibly linked to COVID-19. Shi Zheng Li, the leading researcher and also the person who located the bat cave linked to the SARS outbreak, is extremely well respected by her peers across the world, who supported her against these accusations. The laboratory also has the highest possible biosecurity rating offered in the Chinese system, making the theory even less likely. This doesn't seem to have discouraged theorists though, with many continuing to blame these labs which are researching the virus. It's not just the Wuhan Institute of Virology which has come under the crosshairs of conspiracy theorists though. Much closer to home, the Purbright Institute in Surrey, England has also been linked to the virus by some. They accuse that the Institute, which received funding from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, created the virus. While Purbright does have a patent for a form of coronavirus, this patented strain primarily affects chickens and has no link to the COVID-19 virus. Also, the connection to the Gates Foundation is tenuous at best, with the grants from the foundation being made in 2013 and 16 for two projects unrelated to the virus with the foundation directly remarking, we have not funded the development of Purbright's coronavirus vaccine for livestock. You can find out more about the claims made against the Gates Foundation in relation to coronavirus in our video linked below. A number of these theories can, in some way, be linked back to the statements made by the US government. There's many reasons to explain this, but some have suggested that the main ones are attempts at geopolitical one-upmanship and as a tool to distract from the huge death tolls and virus management controversies which have been associated with the Trump administration and are obviously linked to Trump's attempts to get re-elected in 2020. 
The prevalence of such theories has also been driven by China's resistance to allow a full WHO investigation into the origins of the virus until it's been eradicated or at least controlled. This has only added fuel to the fire, giving US leadership an opportunity to push the narrative that it's all been a big cover-up for a lab-related incident. Only time will tell what the precise origin of COVID-19 was. As discussed, it took until 2017 to find clear and reliable evidence that the SARS outbreak originated in bats. And while clear evidence points to bats being the cause again, there is still uncertainty about the origin of the MERS outbreak. For now, despite conspiracy theories, it seems that the source of the current pandemic was a bat, passed through an intermediate animal onto humans. If you're interested in this topic and have further questions along these lines, do let us know. You can also tell us what you think about the origins of the virus in the comments below. And as always, you can get involved in the conversation over on our Discord server. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified every time we release new videos. And remember to also check out TLDR EU and US, with both channels being linked down below. Special thanks to our Patreon backers who make videos like this one possible.